Hi, my name is Carolyn Cole Rodenberg, and I'm here to tell you the story of the 3 Bs Foundation. Um, my story is I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 42 years old. I had been married in April, and May 1st was when I found out I had breast cancer. I then had a lumpectomy and found out I also needed a bilateral mastectomy. At that point, um, I found out there were a lot of things during my journey that I needed and I wish I had had. So my girlfriends and I got together and we decided that we were going to try and help make a difference. So we founded the 3 Bs Foundation, which stands for Bosom Buddy Booklets, Bosom Buddy Baskets. And our mission is to help women go through their breast cancer journey and comfort them with items that we give to them in our Bosom Buddy Basket. Tell your baby and your best friend That little thing mommy paid no attention to Was really something Now it's stage two And she feels responsible then Rob She'd like to pray But wonders where's God She says how dare had surgery I woke up and I found this beautiful basket in the hospital room and as you can imagine after having a double mastectomy I wasn't feeling that good and I had this beautiful gift from people that I didn't even know in the room and it just made me happy. It was an amazing thing to wake up and see that people um, who I had never met, but who w were sh had shared the same experience with me, had been so thoughtful. And I remember um, thinking to myself that when this was all over, I was going to do something worthwhile. I was going to do something to help other people that were diagnosed. So when I woke up the next day, Dr. Akabari, my surgeon, was standing there, and she said, did you see the pink basket? And I looked over and there was this amazing, huge pink basket to my left. And my sister was there with me and she brought it over to the, the bed. And I first opened the card and I was like, this, this is, this is it. This is, this is it. This is what I'm going to do. I know it. I just know this is what I'm going to do. By saying I was so surprised uh, when I uh, awoke in the hospital and got this absolutely beautiful basket. It, what, it really touched my heart that somebody would be so thoughtful um, to give that um, to me at a time when I was feeling really very vulnerable. And the items in the basket were so useful. I mean, really obviously put together by somebody who knew what I would need at that time in my life. And I was just amazed. My students were really concerned about it. It was the end of the school year, and I had a couple girls. They kept calling me, and they kept saying they wanted to bring me a gift. And I was in the middle of chemo at that point, and um, they, they just wanted to. So they came over, three, three girls with their mom, and they brought me one of the baskets from the three Bs. It, it was amazing. They're amazing baskets. They're full of so many items that, you know, you need that you don't think that you need. You don't know that you need, but you end up needing them. And, and it was just like Easter, uh, it was just like Christmas, and to me it was just like being given another chance at life, and I started with that basket. It was just amazing. I was so surprised and so overjoyed by the support uh, and love from Lisa, and to have received the basket and all of the wonderful things in the basket that were um, so relevant to the 
um, things that I was experiencing. It was just like getting a big hug in the mail and um, this wonderful basket and knowing that somebody else out there knew exactly what I was going through and what I was feeling. It hurt the most when I lost my hair. It hurt so much more knowing he had to be there. And they cried when the realization came. She could have passed down to her angel the very same thing. She said, I've lost. It does really brighten your day when you wake up after after that um, surgery. I had um, these things on my legs to stop blood clots, and one of the things in the basket was a back scratcher. So we unraveled the, the basket really fast, and we pulled out the back scratcher. And um, this is Nancy Coley's favorite everything itches when you're taking pain medicine and you have all these different surgeries so that came in really useful. That was a great thing to have because the painkillers made me so itchy and I think Carolyn was well aware of that so that's one of my favorite items. This back scratcher I held on to it until I left the hospital that day and I scratched and scratched and scratched. This little bear I know it's small but it's the most important thing it's the biggest thing ever to me I put it on my seat belt for the longest time and wore it. I have two grandsons, they played with it. Now it's back to me again and I have it sitting in my car. And this is my biggest buddy, my most precious buddy. Wherever I go, this bear is with me. I think that the best thing in the basket was the Bosom Buddy booklet. And you know, I really consider it a guide to having to deal with having breast cancer. And I just found everything in the book so invaluable. You know, you don't know how to be a breast cancer patient. You don't know what to do. Nobody in my family had any history of cancer or breast cancer, and there was so many resources and tips, and you know, it was just so valuable to me. There were so many things in that basket that, you know, every day I would go through it, I would open up something new and it was amazing just to know that you know I didn't even know any of these people and that you know this basket was given to me and it was full of love full of support that I just was so happy and as it turns out um, I'll be able to recycle a lot of those items because following my breast cancer diagnosis I um, got on my mother's case um, who hadn't had a mammogram in a while and asked her to uh, go through and get the test and she did and unfortunately she also has breast cancer and so uh, I'll be using as I mentioned a lot of the items that were in the basket I'll be bringing over to her as she goes through her breast cancer journey so I really I can't be uh, more thankful for uh, the gift that really just keeps on giving. Um, so thank you so much. The items in the basket were wonderful. They were very carefully selected. Um, it was obvious that there was a lot of care and it really, really helped very much. Um, so I'm very, very grateful. Um, I'm here, I've met um, several wonderful ladies who've been through similar experiences and, and that also is wonderful to know that there are people out there um, who have been, who have experienced a similar journey. Whether it was the little bear to go on the seat belt or the back scratcher or um, the chicken soup for the breast cancer survivor soul, there were so many different things in there that just made me feel um, loved and understood and not alone. So. Thank you 3Bs for all that you do and um, all the love that you share through the baskets that you give. Thank you. 
And now I volunteer a day once a week with Carolyn and Emily, and I thoroughly enjoy it because I know the women who are receiving these baskets are just going to be awesome, just outstanding to receive the baskets. It's been two years she's living cancer-free. She keeps the ribbon close by. She says it's remarkable.